seven and one. He was a regional champion from Hoisington, going against Troy Beeler, again a junior from Harrington for the Raiders. He's 27 and two. He took second at the Douglas Regional. Again, I'd say that if we had to say that one of these boys is favored, we'd have to look at Hilgers for the for the favorite spot because he's qualified for state three times before this year. He took third last year at 112, and as I believe that this is Beeler's uh, first time to the state tournament. Right, as a matter of fact, for Harrington, uh, this is, uh, I believe, Harrington's first wrestler ever to go for a state championship. It's a relatively young program. I don't know exactly when they began, but I don't think they're much more than about 10 or 12 years old back there. Head coach Dan Burnett cheering on his wrestler right now. Beeler pushing Kilgers out of bounds. And again, the wrestler from Harrington with a big H on the singlet. Again, for the Raiders, 27 and two. And Hilgers for head coach Brad Fredrickson with one loss, and that was to Stahl of Oakley earlier in the season, but he beat him in the semifinals yesterday to get to this spot. Yeah, that's one, one thing you, you have to remember is nothing is settled after the match. Uh, there's always that chance that you can come back and win the next one. When Stahl has just had a terrific season with Oakley, he finishes third in this tournament for the Plainsman. I remember a wrestler, I think it was my younger brother, said one time, you know, he, now he, he knew how the old gunfighters felt. No matter how good you got, no matter how times you beat, many times you beat somebody, he was always out there ready to waylay you. Always somebody looking for you. Now, right now, we've got a head-to-head -head duel that's zip-zipped with 37 seconds left in the first period. Again, Hilgers in the maroon singlet. And Beeler from Harrington with the, also the maroon singlet with the stripe down the side. And uh, there... Arm and arm, headlocked, again, button heads, and no one able to take an advantage, Fred. Doesn't look like anybody really wants to jump out there and try to take control real quick. They're kind of feeling each other out. Uh, this is probably the first time they've ever met, and uh, uh, nobody's real sure what the other one does. And of course, Beeler's in there trying for that for the legs. Uh, Hilger's trying to snap him up and, and go under, and just not much happening. Not much at all, so we battle to a neutral corner and neutral scoreboard with two minutes put up on the clock, no score after a period of one. To give you an idea of what kind of wrestler Beeler is at Harrington, he lost to Prather of Lions, returning state champ, who's going for a state championship. Lost to a great wrestler from uh, Douglas by the name of Franks, who was state ranked. Made some impact on this tournament, but uh, he's had a, a good tournament to date. He upsets a two-time state qualifier, Bell, from Rossville to get to this point, so... Uh, Hilgers has his hands full as we said Hilgers has been to this tournament four times and he's placed third at 112 last year and trying to pick up a championship this year. In fact that Frakes boy that he lost to from Douglas just finished fourth this afternoon in this tournament so he's legitimate he, needs, he, he earned his way here so he didn't fall in as a fluke. And for the Cardinals from Plainville well state champs back in 89 and this one of the lone wrestlers that was a member of that team is still wrestling. That's true. What's happening right now? Again, either neither wrestler really can get an advantage. Hilgers had his legs in and was trying to trying to work some kind of a power half Nelson to turn Beeler there, but he was unable to to do anything. And of course, the the rule is that if if neither wrestler can or will improve his position, you call a stalemate and give him a fresh start. And eventually, if you call that stalemate for the for the same reason a couple of times, somebody normally gets called for stalling in that situation because. The feeling is that he's going right back into it, knowing that he's going ahead. Hilgers, of course, used the uh, chicken wing and the uh, arm block and has, has walked around and put Beeler on his back. He's got him in some deep trouble right now. If he can hang on to that and get his get his hips down to the side like, they, like he wants to, uh, we can see a pin here. But I don't think Beeler's ready to concede that yet trying to bridge out of it. He's doing everything he can, but I'll tell you, it, it looks like Hilgers is in a good position. Yeah, he may not get him pinned here, but he's, he's got him awful close now. If he can get that pressure up into his back. Now he's got his hips off to the side, and he's got the pin. Wow. That's going to come in the second period with 22 seconds left. A pin. And that's going to help Plainville's cause as they'll get the points for the fall. And Jason Hilgers, a senior, finally, after four trips to state or three on his fourth try, picks up the win. We're going to take a look at how he did it in just a second. Hilgers, again, the senior for the Plainville Cardinals.
That's a very well executed chicken wing and forearm, and he's got his hips right down on top of it. When he kicks those legs over the top there, he's just pretty much done for. Because Hilders now can bring his weight back into him, and uh, now he's fighting for air, and, and he can't get